So, you want to know how to make an action bar scoreboard countdown timer using command blocks in Minecraft, hmm? Like the one beneath me, hmm? Without all these long words these command block geniuses use, hmm? Well, you've come to the right place as I'll show you how to make one in four Look, okay, I tried for four minutes, okay, but it just didn't work. So, you you're dealing with seven minutes and about 15, 20 seconds, okay? Just deal with it. <laughs> minutes or less. Buy a noob for a noob. Anyways, there's no time to waste. Let's go. Okay, so for our first speedrun explanation, essentially what we need to do is that we need to actually make the scoreboard objectives. So, for our first one, we're going to go for scoreboard objectives add minute dummy. For our second, it's going to be scoreboard objectives add second dummy. And then for our ticks, we're going to go for scoreboard objectives add tick dummy and those are scoreboard objectives done so now we need to go onto another website to actually make the action bar for us because we're lazy so let's go okay so for the first speed on explanation essentially we're going to go into the description and find ourselves this link minecraftjason.com you can also type it down but essentially it'll lead you to this website and this is where we're going to be making our action bar so in screen overlay we're going to go into the drop down box and go to title action bar add text go to scoreboard objective and in the objective box next to player we're going to write minute make it bold make it green you can customize it whatever you want to and in the drop down box next to edit we're going to duplicate it after this we're going to add some more text make it a colon make it green make it bold and then let ourselves another scoreboard objective this will be second after this you will duplicate it once more and as a basic timer, this will do just fine. However, I want to know if our ticks are adding up so that our seconds continue moving. So we're going to go add some more text, make it text and ourselves another colon. This will be green. This will be bold. And then add some more text. And this will be a scoreboard objective. In the objective part, write down tick and customize it to wherever you want to. And essentially, this is our timer done. I should probably mention you do not need this two options by here for the tick. However, I'm just using it so that we know that our ticks are going up so that our seconds are going down. So if you do not want that, we can just go over here and delete both of these options. But for now, we're just going to keep it like this. We actually need to do one more thing, which is essentially copying this lovely code this website's given us and go into something like a notepad so that we can paste it into and edit a little bit so as you'll probably see there's a bunch of things and what we're going to be doing is that we're just going to be distinguishing which digit is which so right in between the colon and comma in the quotation for the first one you write zero for the second write one for the second you go zero and for the second second we go one and now it is ready. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, me. I'm not done just yet. Okay, completely forgotten. Right next to the colon and right next to the comma in between this quotation, add one for the tick. And now we're done. But essentially, when we're done, add to now command, paste it into a repeating command block. And we're just going to make it need redstone. But you probably wonder, hey, Flopsy, why the hell are there no numbers by there? Well, good sir, I'll tell you now. Essentially, go to scoreboard, players, add zero minute zero add one minute zero add zero second zero add one second zero and then finally do zero tick zero and there we go it looks beautiful so now let's get on to the next part so arguably the last and most important part is the actual command itself so i'm not going to explain every single one but we're gonna do it step by step all the commands in order will be linked in the description so for the first command make a repeated command block always active and copy and paste this command in for the second make it a chain conditional command always active and copy paste this command in for the third make a conditional and always active and copy and paste this command in for the fourth make another chain command block and make a conditional always active and copy and paste this command in for the fifth command, essentially make another chain command block, conditional, and copy and paste this command in. For the sixth command, make a conditional, and copy and paste this command in. For the seventh chain command, you make a conditional, always active, and paste this command in. And for the eighth, go for another chain command block, make a conditional, and copy and paste this command in. 
Before we continue onto the last command, essentially we make another repeating command block and copy and paste this command in, make it needs redstone and unconditional. And next command block, basically paste a block, whatever kind, open up your F3 screen and look in the top right, it will be targeted block. In my case, it will be 255, 70 and 25. And for the final command, place a repeating command block, make it always active, unconditional, and then paste your command in with your own relative coordinates and then air. And that is essentially the whole system done. So with this system, there's a few rules. As with any timer, whenever it hits under 0, 0 seconds, it will always reset back to 9 if it's the first digit and 5 if it's the second digit because, well, you don't really see hours going above 60 minutes because an hour is 60 minutes, so always go beneath it. And you're probably wondering as well, what the hell is this system by here? So by here, essentially just a row of commands. These are just a set whatever you want the time to. So essentially the ones is essentially this digit by here. The zero is this digit by here. The one minute is this digit by here. And the zero minute is this digit by here. So let's say if I wanted it to be 420 minutes, so basically 4 minutes and 20 seconds. All I've got to do is just make sure I place the redstone block on the targeted block I wrote down earlier, and it's good to go. It's working. Look at that go. So of course, a lot of us would not want the tick handle to be there. So just basically go back onto the minecraft.json website and make yourself a new action bar. And yeah, now it's all done. You've got yourself a function countdown system. I should probably mention as well, whenever resetting the system back to zero, you also set the tick to zero as well. As you can probably tell by here, the system would stop at zero, 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 one. So making sure that this also hits back to zero is important. But aside from that, it's all good to go. So if you liked today's tutorial, please leave a like and also subscribe. I tried to chunk down the information as much as possible, but some things have to be in here <laughs> or the system just will not work or the rules will just kind of bend. But otherwise, if you have any problems, leave in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.